good old Nasdaq, your friend and mine, is providing price feeds for tokenized stock trades on a project called DeFi Chain. Nasdaq, alongside FinHub and Tingo, will be providing its price feeds to DeFi Chain, a DeFi platform built on the Bitcoin network. Tokenized stocks were getting just rampaged, and everybody's like, yo, Binance, you can't do tokenized stocks, you plebs. Collateralized by crypto, removing the need for an intermediary, can also be purchased in the form of decentralized loans. <laughs> wow, that sounds safe. Um, yeah, there's not, he, DeFi got risk, baby. <laughs> uh, available, well, because, I mean, it's freaking NASDAQ, dude. I guess it's just price feed, so maybe DeFi chain wants to be like, yo, we got, we got freaking nasdaq everybody we're chilling but nasdaq like yo just give <laughs> we're just giving you prices buddy um nasdaq let's also keep in mind the creator of nasdaq was the perpetrator of the biggest ponzi scheme in american history is it made off yeah nice on you baby yeah, uh, working hard <laughs> that's money working for you i mean he tried man. he's just he tried to get leverage you know what i'm saying that's crazy that's i mean it's not that crazy because like the majority of it was during a time where like computers weren't super like used. Yeah. But like, that's what, fucking crazy. What years was it going down? Oh, okay. I want to say, I want to say he started his firm in like the seventies and then he yeah. got taken down in 2008. Was Could he be wrong there, but that's why. Doing stuff for 70 to, to the nineties. Uh, I like the well, 80s. He, he, just, he, he, just had a, he just had a hedge fund and he started with his friends and he was just like giving them fake results every quarter. And he probably started off that way, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, how do you fucking? And he was just like a trusted guy. Like, nobody, like, they audited him, but they didn't audit him hard enough. Yeah. Because yeah. they're like, it's fucking made off, bro. He probably made the nasty money on the back end, too. Yeah. There's no way they were just like, oh, my guy Bernie. He's like, okay, obviously, <laughs> obviously, you're doing bullshit my guy but you know give me some money and we got you like yo like even during economic downfall i'm still getting 10 percent back a year with my boy burn really good system dude good system dude, you know dude, what can i say throw your money at my guy over here he'll set you right it's just like our team is awesome you know they're just really like they're good at risk management me and me and the team i call them my little my little bernies they really burn the market you know what i'm saying until you need to pull your money out but I mean, it's not that far fetched, dude. For especially like seventies, like cats were doing stocks like twenties and thirties and forties. And I was reading a book about hog prices and like railroad stocks in like the eighteen eighties and stuff. This guy was calling out projections and stuff. It was crazy. But I, I just assume people can just get yanked off in the seventies. The platform's co-founder Julian Hosp said that the offering will open the door to many people who are frustrated by traditional markets. <laughs> Are saying, yo, I can't 6x my leverage here, NASDAQ. Let me get it. It advocates like Haas will increasingly need to contend with increased attention regulators are paying to the DeFi space. Crazy. Let's see what's good with it, dude. Julian Hosp, this guy right here, bro, said, hey, these people want, these people want debt via stock. Let's give it to them, baby. America. These people want DeFi. Not even America, but like the, America ideal on steroids of do whatever the fuck you want. I, I feel like the wording of this is a lot less like, yeah, we have traditional stock markets behind this and more like NASDAQ is giving us a data feed. But I mean, look at this guy. He wouldn't want you to crash everything. <laughs> Fresh from his job at T-Mobile. <laughs> 